Hello everybody and welcome to Stealing 33 Plays Batman the Telltale Series. I'm Stealing 33 and today ladies and gentlemen we are back in the Telltale game that I am very very excited um, to play actually. Um, I've been waiting a while to uh, play this and uh, I I'm excited to get into it. Um, it's been a long time since I played a Telltale series on the uh, channel. The last one I did was Minecraft Story Mode, which I, I didn't enjoy very much. Um, you know, I thought a, a Minecraft Story Mode felt a little hamstrung by being a Minecraft game. Uh, I would like Bad Tech Color to be red, please. Thank you very much. That sounds dope. Um, I was a little underwhelmed by Minecraft Story Mode, but I, that was mostly because I felt like they weren't allowed to be as adult of writers as they normally are. Um, but I'm excited to get a chance to play, uh, play A, a new Telltale game, which I love them a lot. But B, I'm excited to get to play a little bit of Batman. So let's get this, uh, let's get this started. Uh, I'm going to be quiet during all the cutscenes. I've never played the game, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, so, uh, it'll be an adventure for all of us. So sit back, relax, and let's get on with the party. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. That guy behind his desk. Pat Downey. Hey, what are you... Ooh. Joe, bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, Christ. Move in. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Hey, man. Alright, cool. How's this gonna work? E. Let's do it. E. So interactive. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle I it. I can handle it. <laughs> Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. This is already super good. I'm already enjoying the much more adult theme of this. <laughs> Yeah, 
me. Fire! Back to back, circle up! The fear. The fear. Cheers, boys. Oh, what the hell is this? Are you wearing a gas mask? Oh, well, I guess wearing a gas mask, right? I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> There he goes. Got it. All right, cool. I think I've set the battle meter in the bottom left. Oh, uh, get the thing. There it is. Ooh. Oh, hey, cat woman. Teach you to knock. Behind you, big boy. I'm almost tempted to like fail some of these things to see what happens. But that would be very Batman. Stay where you are. You're under arrest. Nah, I'm good. Thanks, boys. be intimidating you're succeeding criminals are becoming afraid of you so are the police it's a scare tactic al just a performance <sighs> without a scratch so far that doesn't belong to you I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Yeah. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. You're dangerous. And let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Get her. Ooh. Down. Up. Right. E. Fifty. I'm not sure what's going on in the bottom left, but I like it. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Woo, head's itchy. We're getting this on. Let's do it. Nice. 
Die, idiots. Go, oh, get her. Oh, ooh, right in the stomach. I'm surprised he didn't suplex her. That would have been awesome. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Click it. I clicked it. Who are now? Jesus! I got him! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Pretty dope. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot you. No, wait! <sighs> It looks like a paw print. Is that? Is, I wonder if that's intentional or not. Cute. Oh. All right, we got this. We got this. So I wonder if they went with like the Batman, uh, the Ben Affleck Batman for this. Cause like, it kind of seems like that, which I'm totally down with cause the Ben Affleck Batman's actually pretty dope. Um, but like this Batman's a lot beefier than normal and he's got like that voice modulator and stuff. Oh, guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Don't struggle. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. <laughs> oh, what a dick. <clears throat> Did we forget that we got shot? Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Ooh, good line, Alfred. Well, time to save the city. Not bad, that was some opener. Oh, I like that. That was pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. And even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Yeah. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. I'm excited about this. You know, I, it's cool to see the all these characters. The, they're being done in a very interesting way. Mr. Light. Wayne, 
I'm, Thank I'm liking it. Thank you for opening it. your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. I like to make an entrance. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This yeah. shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'm doing this for Gotham. So put on your billionaire smile for and Gotham. don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since... Before. Put a dent in crime. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... Put a dent in crime. Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I like that one. I'm gonna use good. that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. This is pretty good so far. I'm liking the writing. It's uh, well put together. The act starting out with some action was nice. I like it. I like it. That guy looks upset. Hans. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. I agree. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn I do West. not like the way that oh, guy Bobby. said vigilante. Regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. I agree. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's going to need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. You've still <laughs> got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. Yeah, I After agree. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. She did it. It was, it was her. She's the killer. Terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Yeah. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Well, thank you both. Harvey will remember that. 
<laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Good. It is a night of ringing endorsements. <laughs> I am enjoying this. It's cool to be able to like play as Bruce Wayne a little bit. You know? Because like... Well, you expect it all to be Batman, 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 but like these moments Harvey are Day. nice because they're quiet Gotham's and cool. Mayor, you know. I'm eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Miss Vale could stay. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? What do you mean? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Better now that you're here, I'm darling. Doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... Is that blood? Yeah... It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. <laughs> kidding. I like this. This is it's well written. Bruce, but, uh, it's also very relaxing, guest which is nice. Has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. I try not to judge. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. All right. Maybe I'm, he can change your mind. I'm trusting you, I Harvey. I like this, Harv. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. All right. Relax, man. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. You can't afford it. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmen Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. As all the eyes turn to see if I shake hands with Carmine Falcone. You're a respectable man, I hear. Shake his hand. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. My guests Gentlemen, will remember that, huh? We'll all be more comfortable in the, the politics. Parlor. Too much. Me, Too know. much politics. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. No, I want have Harvey to... Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. You're damn right. Seen and, and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? It'd also be nice to have an extra set of arms in the event that this goes dust up. Let's do it. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. 
chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Nah, we're not chalking this thing. I'm a respectable man. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. This is a tense scene, man. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. I agree. Now, that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. Oh. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Thank you, Alfred. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. He's gonna get what's coming to him. They have a fat clip, but fuck Falcone, man. Fuck him hard. What a great opener. That was really good. I, I enjoyed that very thoroughly, actually. Very thoroughly indeed. As soon as we get a good break in it, I'm going to call the episode, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm having a good time. I'm actually really enjoying myself. It's, uh, again, the writing's very good. That was very tense, very, like, uh, like that. Some of those, like, questions were already it's very me. difficult to answer. I enjoyed that a lot, actually. I feel like Batman would use red. He'd either use red or blue for his like equipment, right? Because they're like blue's hard. Blue's hard to see in darkness. Realm of shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. Tonight, five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. I was gonna say, we got something, didn't we? May have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it 
be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. With that, we're going to call it quits for this episode. Uh, this is a good breaking point. We've been going for about half hour now. Uh, I'm going to pick it up right where we left off, and there'll be another episode up tomorrow. Uh, so no need to worry. Uh, I'm going to be trying to burn through this entire thing uh, this week, and uh, we'll see what goes from there. Uh, so with that, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, let me know. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date. I'm going to post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!